Due to the recent popularity of the male personality type known as Sigma Male, many men have suddenly appeared and declared themselves to be members of this group. However, a Sigma Male is defined by certain personality traits that one cannot easily acquire. Do you consider yourself to be a Sigma Male? In order to clear up any misunderstandings, in today's video we will discuss important signs you are not a Sigma Male in today's video. Number 1. If you blend in with other men, Sigma males don't intentionally try to stand out from the crowd. However, because of their mysterious and alluring qualities, they unavoidably do so. While Beta and Alpha males follow the rules and attempt to dominate, Sigma males simply go with the flow and act according to their instincts at the time. They effortlessly distinguish themselves from other men and are not like them. Therefore, if you blend in, and don't consciously stand out from those around you. You are a fake Sigma male. Number two, identify as a Sigma male. Ironically, if you make an effort to identify as a Sigma male, whether to your parents or friends, guess what? That you are not a Sigma male is evident from this. Sigma men don't need to go shouting it from the rooftops because they are completely secure in who they are. They are at ease in their own skin. How can you tell if a person is a Sigma male? They aren't going to reveal that information to you. Number three, if you are unable to control your speech. But known for being men of few words, Sigmas prefer to listen attentively to the conversations going on around them and only speak up when they have something important to say. A Sigma male does this in order to fully comprehend and learn from the thoughts and feelings of others, giving him time to plan and strategize his response. A Sigma male has no desire to speak inappropriately or expose himself by making a statement that he later regrets. You are not a Sigma male if you frequently find yourself not thinking before you speak. Number four, if you're frightened of dominant men, you're not a true Sigma if you're afraid to challenge an alpha male. When the occasion demands it, Sigma males aren't afraid to challenge others, but they won't intentionally start a fight. A Sigma male recognizes his value and doesn't let anyone, not even an alpha male, make him feel inferior to others. If you are intimidated by other people, people can tell right away if you are a fake Sigma male. A true Sigma male knows exactly how to handle an alpha, but he also knows how to do it skillfully and peacefully to avoid unfavorable outcomes. Number five, if you take precautions, male Sigmas like to take chances. Even if they are not deliberately exposing themselves to dangerous risks, their propensity to not play life too safe can sometimes give the impression that they are being careless. What's the point of that? They prefer to lead uncommon lives, going against the grain to do what they want to do. We are aware that Sigma males frequently break the law and that doing unavoidably entails some level of risk. You probably aren't a Sigma male if you don't believe that life is too short to take the safe route. Number six, if you believe being a rebel is necessary, it is true that the Sigma male is not particularly interested in following orders from others or acting in ways that are considered appropriate by society. But that doesn't mean they intentionally violate all social norms and destroy society. It's true that Sigma males don't like to follow other people's agendas, but they also understand the necessity of striking a balance because, while some rules are meant to be broken, society would fall apart if there were no rules at all. If you take advantage of any chance to rebel and break the law because you believe you are a Sigma male, I'm afraid you have got it all wrong. Number seven, if you're an outgoing person. By nature, Sigma males are not outgoing. They exhibit both extrovert and introvert characteristics because they are ambiverts. When the occasion demands it, they are able to be outgoing and confident. However, they lose their social energy more quickly than extroverts do so they place a high value on their time alone to recover. A Sigma male must make time in his busy schedule for his own space because they are energized by solitude. Since a Sigma male is essentially the introverted version of an alpha male, if you're outgoing and find that being around people gives you energy, then you are more likely to be an alpha male. Number eight, if you require others' approval all the time. Since Sigma males are confident in who they are, they don't require external approval from other people. They don't need to be told how admirable they are or that they deserve everything. 
A Sigma male only needs to find approval and validation from within. He always takes the path he chooses, disregarding other people's ideas and opinions, which he views as unnecessary distractions that could cause him to wander off course. You're not a true Sigma male if you frequently seek approval from others rather than finding it within yourself. Number 9. If you believe that everything is about captivating women, Sigmas don't need to work hard to appeal to women because they are aware that they already possess enough mysterious and attractive qualities that women find irresistible. The fact that girls are drawn to a Sigma male's vibe is what drives him to go to great lengths to win their affection. Women find a Sigma male's laid-back attitude towards women and his naturally alluring traits to be emotionally appealing. As a result, he has no trouble attracting high-value women into his life. But he's equally content to be single and lead a single life. If you identify as a Sigma male, but your primary objectives are to pick up women, then you are not a Sigma male, and your desperation will make it more difficult to attract the kind of attractive women you want. Number 10. If your future is not in your hands, a Sigma male would never allow friends, family, or romantic partners to decide his future. He fights for his independence and shapes and molds his own reality, rejecting those with power who try to influence him, even if it means challenging expectations and possibly upsetting some people in the process. He is the only one in control of what he wants out of life and what he wants for the future. You are not a true Sigma male if you let other people direct shape and influence your life. Number 11. If you lack a sense of adventure and curiosity, a true Sigma male has an inherent interest in learning about the world and will use his free time to learn new things, experience new things, and broaden his knowledge when the chance presents itself. This indicates that he enjoys reading, learning, and traveling, especially by himself. He is aware of the advantages of having solo experiences which allow him to discover and engage with things he might not be as willing to do with others around. You are not a Sigma male if you are not a true, lifelong learner who has yet to understand the power of gaining new knowledge and expanding his or her horizons through new experiences. Number 12. If you believe that happiness will come from being a Sigma male, the idea that you can never find happiness by changing who you are to become something else is idiotic. And the same is true of the belief that being a Sigma male is necessary for happiness. Like an Alpha or a Beta male, a Sigma male is a personality type and not a reflection of an individual's level of happiness. It is possible to adapt and change your personality, but it's difficult, takes time, and the change needs to come from the inside of you and not be something you do on the outside. You cannot decide to change who you are the moment you awaken. Knowing that a personality type does not make a happy person make, regardless of what you identify as or how others perceive you. So if you think that being a Sigma male or any other personality type will suddenly make you happy, think again. Instead, take the time to work on yourself and discover your own happiness from within, regardless of labels. These are some of the characteristics shared by men in the Sigma fraternity. These are the differences between male Sigmas and regular people. Take care until the next time.